Egyptian fraction by Alex Tassi, Helen Thomas, and Sasha Piquet. Egyptian fractions are a method of writing fractions in the form x divided by 1 equals 1 divided by a plus 1 divided by b plus 1 divided by c, etc., where x, y, a, b, and c are all integers and any other things that might be in the fractions. They were first used by the ancient Egyptians, were studied extensively in the Middle Ages, and also have some uses in modern day mathematics. History of Egyptian fractions. Egyptian fractions were, of course, the, of course, used by the ancient Egyptians to represent everyday fractions. After they fell out of common use, a Scotsman discovered during a trip to Egypt an 18-foot-long scroll, the Rhine Papyrus, in an Egyptian shop, detailing how to create and use Egyptian fractions. What are the uses of Egyptian fractions? Egyptian fractions are used in some areas of cutting-edge mathematics, such as the Erdos Graham conjecture, which states that if you partition all unit fractions into a finitely many sets. One of these sets can be used to form an Egyptian fraction representation of the number one. But as use, but a useful use of Egyptian fractions is actually equally si splitting items between people. For instance, if you have seven pizzas and ten people that all want equal amounts of pizza, using Egyptian fractions, seven tenths equals a half and a fifth. So you should give five pizzas into halves and two pizzas into fifths. Then a, then a half and a fifth of each pizza to each person. The algorithm to solve Egyptian fractions. This is the greedy algorithm, which is x over y equals 1 over y over x add minus y mod x over y over y over x. Where these two symbols here represent the Stephen function, which basically means you round any decimals up to the nearest number one. And here's a demonstration of the Greedy algorithm at work, where but you're trying to find the Egyptian fraction of the representation of three sevenths. So x is three and y is seven. So we have 1 over the ceiling of y, 7 divided by x, which is 3. 7 divided by x, i oh sorry, 7 divided by 3 is more than 2, but less than 3. So it's 1 third, and then that's added to 2, because it's minus 7 modulo 3. So to get 2, you go minus 7, and then you add 4 every time, until, sorry, 3 every time until it becomes positive, so minus 7 minus 4, minus 1, 2, and then here, you have 3 from over here, multiplied by 1, which is 7 to get 21. So we've already found out that 3 sevenths is equal to 1 third, plus 2 over 21. And now, what you do is you've got something with 2 on it, and you can't have that for Egyptian fractions. So what you do is you take 2 and 21, and you do this whole process again, and you do all of this, and you find that it's 111 plus 1, 231, something. So 3 sevenths is 1 third plus 111 plus 1, 231. Thank you.